It's the Toast of Surrey Business Awards on Thursday next week and we are thrilled that for second year running we are the media partners for the event. It's all being organised by the Surrey Advertiser and held at G Live and hosted by our very own Peter Stewart. The awards celebrate the best of the county's businesses, young and old, big and small. And all this week, we're talking to some of the finalists in the eight categories. Today, I'm joined by Nigel Blake, excellent name, uh, from a company called Perfect Pitch in Godalming. Nigel, congratulations to you of a finalist. So when did you find this out? Uh, Thank you, Nigel, and good morning. Uh, We found out just three weeks ago, uh, having submitted uh, our entry forms some two weeks before that, and we are, of course, immensely proud for, for myself and the team. Excellent. Now, tell us a little bit about Perfect Pitch. It almost like sounds like some kind of musical company where you're <laughs> teaching people to sing, but it's not what you do, is it? No, not quite. So we're an outbound telemarketing agency, uh, a business-to-business one, I must stress, so we call other businesses. It was a business I set up myself uh, from home in September 2009, mm. and, and I guess based on experience of something that I'd used, I'd been a buyer of those services and perhaps felt it was something I could do better myself. I see. Telemarketing from business to business, so you're not the kind of people who phone us up at four o'clock in the morning saying have you thought about ppi then that's right not at all and, and i kind of think of my my mum at home and, and someone ringing her at 10 o'clock at night and, and didn't consider that appropriate but businesses i'm a business owner people call me and you know i've got a website i'm a public company so i think they're fair game i think that's okay yeah i received a, a phone call a business phone call from somebody selling actually their 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 personal wares in other words they wanted a job but their opening pitch was I want to talk to you about an opportunity for your company. And uh, we were like, about a minute in before I suddenly clicked over to realise <laughs> that this person was applying for a job. And th- at this point, I sort of shut it all down because I was kind of a bit annoyed that I'd been tricked, really. And I actually said to that person, you know, that's an opportunity for you. It's not an opportunity for me. <laughs> so when you start your next call, so is that the kind of training that you give, in other words, to, you know, how to actually, you know, stand a chance of actually getting some some business, you know, opening a a phone call in in the correct manner? Yeah, I guess. I I think more. It's it's, it's basic... um basic conduct so we are we're super polite we ask if it's a, a good time for the person to speak we use their name we use please and thank you and i think in any aspect of life or business by, by being like that you've got a greater chance of success uh, and we try and uh, try and use as much empathy as we can so we look at voice tones if mm. someone's very jolly we're very jolly if they're a bit more somber we're somber if they're well spoken we're well spoken and if it's all right mate we're all right mate so it's that's that's where we try really and, yeah. and i know you use actors so that must work really well uh, for them quite a challenge for them then to to match like for like yeah very much they they have an inherent skill that their, their voice tone is great they have the ability to engage show empathy they remember their lines and, and i guess most importantly they have no fear of rejection which when you're making 80 plus calls a day that's a rather useful asset <laughs> uh, so actors yeah that's a brilliant idea i, I don't think that's been thought of before has it I don't know. I, I have a hunch there's a few other businesses doing it around the UK, but but certainly not locally. Um, and it's it's something they, they fit very well to. And, and I, I think the other thing they bring is, unlike some of us salesmen who are a little bit more cliched and corny, mm. they don't quite realise how good they are. So that's another asset they have as well. Yeah. Um, so they fit very well for the role and they come with a good degree typically and a range of ages, anywhere between perhaps 20 and 60. Yes. And uh, yeah, they're, they're made for telemarketing. Do you have to brief them on who they are? Who am I, darling, <laughs> this morning? Um, and uh, you tell them a bit about the company they're going to call or something? Yeah, very much. We try and match people to campaigns, so we do a range of things. It might be professional services, it might be technology, it might be roofing. So we look at the character and where they're most likely to fit, try and understand the business, and and also for our clients to recognise we're an extension of what they do. It's very important that we we understand their not only their offering but their culture as well. So the more engrossed we are with them, the better. Okay, well, Nigel Blake, well done. Uh, congratulations on your nomination. See how you go in your uh, being a finalist now, and we'll see how you get on. So, a perfect pitch. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Nigel. The Toast of Surrey Business Awards is on Thursday next week, and it will be hosted by our very own Peter Stewart at G Live and being organised by the Surrey Advertiser. We'll be talking to more of the finalists on the programme.